Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on, YouTube? It's Filthy, and we're back with another video. We are on the free to play accounts, uh, filming this on day 13. We've just done our first six star. Uh, do subscribe if you're enjoying this early playthrough of Raid and you're interested in learning about the game or following the account progress. Either way, that's cool. We've just done our first six star, and this video, I guess, is going to be really I'm going to frame it as should you six star Ronda, should you six star Kale, should you six star one of your starter champs over Ronda. It's a little bit framed along the way of helping you to decide. You know, maybe in six months' time there's a different login champion, not Ronda. Maybe they're giving somebody else away for free, and you're wondering, should I do Kale? Should I do the free champ? Um, you know, which character for my account should I six star next? I guess because all these principles that I'm going to talk about, all the stuff I'm going to say, is equally applicable to whether we chose Lissandra, whether we chose uh, any of the other characters that we've got here. Now. Really, the biggest mistake you can make in this game is building champions that are crap. Uh, building champions that you won't use medium to long term. And a 6 star takes so much effort, it is just punishing to get your first 6 star. It's punishing to get your second. It never stops being punishing, it is hard to get 6 star champions. Even at end game, it is hard to get 6 star champions. So really, you need to be thinking, what am I going to use the champ for? Um, I've fallen into this trap first playthrough of this game three years ago. I went onto somebody's tier list and I got the idea that Royal Guard was an amazing champion. And don't get me wrong, he is a really good champion. He's got uh, AoE, max HP, he's got decreased speed, he's got decreased defense, he's got an attack dungeon aura. Um, the problem with this guy is his defense is 771, is miserably low. If you're not at end game or you don't have the correct champions to support him, and this is way back before we had Cell of the Drakes in the game doing pickups, I six starred this guy and it was a waste of time. He sat in my vault for ages because even though he was level 60, even though I've spent all my epic books on him, uh, I couldn't really use him properly because I just didn't have the champs uh, to support him. I mean, obviously, I've learned a lot about the game now, so maybe that would be bit of a different question but the point that I'm getting at is is that just because somebody says a champ is really really good doesn't mean that they should be your next six star you need to think about your account the first goal of an account is to get to Minotaur Minotaur however you want to say it stage 15 because that way you can then farm your masteries for all your characters you don't want to be spending gems on them so we're fairly close at the moment, we're at stage 11, so I've only got three or four more stages to go. Once we get Kale powered up to like level 50, 55, this is going to get a little bit easier. We might well be able to do stage 12 and 13. Once we add another 60 or two, we should comfortably be getting on uh, to stage 15. So that's kind of goal number one. And the reason you want masteries is because you just do tons more damage to the clan boss. Uh, with your masteries activated so the next thing would then be to be looking to build clan boss teams so going through easy normal hard brutal and then ultimately the end game opens i think once you really start getting into nightmare clan boss because that is the first time you can actually get sacred shards so if you can get two of these chests a day you start to get a slim chance of getting sacreds slim chance of getting voids and you also can start picking up some books with some better champions. So really the, the, the goal is thinking about a clan boss team. A clan boss team will be comfortably able to do the Minotaur and then up to 15. And you're looking to add and drop in champions as you build them to basically power up their masteries. And that's kind of the thought process. So with that in mind, Ronda is probably a better champion than Kale in some respects. You know, she's got a triple hit A1, places an extra hit if it's on a target with below 50% after she's done a third hit. Great for Fire Knights, just great for damage in general. We've got a uh, attack one enemy three times, ignoring shield, 30% of defense, blocking passive skills, blocking active skills, and these buffs can't be resisted, so she needs no accuracy, which is just brilliant, amazing can be booked to a three turn cooldown. She's got an AOE as well, attacking everybody twice. 
damage it increases by 30% if she's got more than 50% HP. She's immune to turn meter reduction if this skill is not on cooldown. And if she has it off cooldown, well, she only gets 50% the turn meter reduction. So she's phenomenal for arena. She's phenomenal for any waves that do any funny business with your turn meter. She's also got a little bit of a kind of small ally attack. So 15% chance to join an attacker hitting potentially three or four times with Ray one and um, yeah it's been one in six one in seven times this will go off and it's a big source of damage again great for fire knight gets that shield down really quickly start of each round she also puts a, a shield on herself for 40 percent of her own hp for two turns so she's kind of not too bad to keep alive she's a great champion she's a better champion she can have much higher stats than kale uh, you know, if we have a little look at it in the Banner Lords Legendary, HP 15k, attack 1500, defense 1000, 100 speed. If we compare that to Kale, uh, she's going to be winning out on stats as well. And then, um, you know, 14,000 HP, 900 defense, 103 speed. But I've still picked Kale. And the reason I've picked Kale is because he does have the AoE nuke, so it's about equal there. But he's got this huge attack four times at random, 40% chance of placing 5% poison for two turns. Also has poison on his A1. We're going to use this guy in clan boss for ages. We're going to use this guy in dragon for ages because he just brings a lot of poison. And his AoE means that he does damage to waves. He can do the campaign farming. He can just do a whole bunch of stuff. So that's why you'd pick him. He's also on an early game account much cheaper to ascend these potions are easy guessable uh, we're going to hang on to this for the relevant mission i think so he's easy to get powered up with jewelry he's easy to get much easier to get powered up with a banner and stuff like that same goes for his skills it's easy to max these out you just do the challenges in the game the game drops you the skill books you put them all into kale now if i had picked a different starter if i picked any of the other starters i would have six starred ronda 100 percent uh, she's much better than Aethel, Elhain, or Kulak. They're all okay champs. I'd be looking maybe to try and six star other people ahead of them, potentially. Again, thinking about your accounts and what you're going to do. But Ronda uh, would definitely be ahead of them for six starring. Now, interestingly, we also pulled Frozen Banshee. Again, if you go and you look at a tier list or you watch a video, somebody says Frozen Banshee, one of the best rares in the game. Brilliant Poisoner, does tons of poison damage. This is true. She's got poison sensitivity. That increases the damage of poisons. She's got poison on her A1, but she does have to land this poison sensitivity first. And she's got a little bit of a turn meter boost on the A2. Accuracy aura, which is quite handy early game. She does more poison damage than Kale on Clan Boss. But she only does marginally more she doesn't she doesn't do 100% more she doesn't do 50% more she maybe does 20% more uh, and she really shines in a counter attack team because she's got the big poison on her a1 it's not worth building her you know like other than clan boss and some dungeon runs and some you know faction wars she's not a bad champion but it, her overall utility compared to kale's ability to wave clear to damage lots of enemies all at once and thus with his artifacts his lifesteal heal himself back up just make him a much better champion um, and in fact this frozen banshee is going to sit on this account probably uh, for a while because i just like investing in somebody to 60 as i said earlier is so hard and takes so many resources there's just not much point improving my poisoner by 20 30 percent 25 percent whatever it is it might even be as low as 10 percent there's no point spending all those resources on that when we could spend them on Lissandra, who it was a really lucky pull, full turn meter depletion, AoE speed up, takes turn meter away, transfers debuffs off herself. Um, you know, it's more useful to have her at 60, it's more useful to have Ronda at 60. It might well be more useful to have Carlinia at 60 because she's got a decreased attack, which is something we need for Clan Boss. She's got HP burn, great for Clan Boss. She will do a debuff strip when targets have got HP, but potentially very usable later on. 15% strength on everybody for two turns, that's 15% less damage 
when this buff is up can't be removed or stolen. So even though again, you know, maybe not as useful for clan boss damage, but far more useful to keep our team alive uh, than invest in somebody like Frozen Banshee. So that's the thought process. That's why we've gone for Kale. That's why he's up at 60. Uh, I will do Ronda next because I think the damage from her, it seems sensible to concentrate on the damage first, the clan boss for dungeons for all that type of stuff. Then we'll move on to Lissandra because let's face it, she's an end game S tier champion. We're going to keep her forever. She's going to be used in pretty much every run that we do. So those three are absolute superstars. I quite like the look of Kalinia next for our fourth 60. It'll depend obviously on shard pulls after that. Um, and then after that, I think you might want to just get a bunch of these champs up to 50, like a 50 War Maiden with AoE decreased defense uh, on this skill here. Could be much more useful than six starring somebody. Uh, I like Mystic Hand as a healer for 50. We've already got this Skinwalker guy up to 50. Maybe Greybeard up to 50. Control Champ, Counter Attack, Defense Aura, pretty decent. Fenax, good champ. Uh, you know, we can get this guy going. Block active skills, block buffs, decrease bomb timer with Talia, who we've got. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the thought process. Ronda, unbelievable champ. You definitely want a 60 at some point, um, but I've gone for Kale first. That's my reasoning. I uh, hope you found the video useful. Thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.